The difference between winning and losing can be marginal, and the world's top teams are always looking for innovative ways to gain that extra edge. Ahead of the Tour de France, BMC Racing Team have been testing their latest cycling equipment at the University of Eindhoven's wind tunnel, researching and analyzing new ways to be the best. Yeah, wind tunnel testing, it's, it's a big advantage. You can, uh, you can dial in a lot of position, you can find um, you know, what material works for you. Sometimes what's fast on someone might not be fast on, on yourself, so it's, uh, it's always good to test different things. And, you know, I've learned a lot, um, gained a lot, and, uh, and yeah, I think um, right now it's all, it's all minor details, but um, it's certainly, certainly worthwhile. Our sports, um, you know, is always little gains to be made and I think you know, skin suits are such a, a big part of it now. Time trials are crucial for uh, GC overall so any little savings you can make due to uh, being more aerodynamic are uh, you know, huge in races. Of course many cyclists uh, use wind tunnels, use computer simulations um, but often the results are very dependent on the cyclist, him or herself and on, and on the material, the equipment. And aerodynamics is also a field of research that's actually sometimes counterintuitive because we all have some idea what aerodynamics means, but usually we don't see it. It's all around us, but nevertheless, uh, in every, almost in every project that we do, we find uh, things that surprise us. A wind tunnel is a, is a controlled environment, and, and the reality is, is uh, more uncontrollable than, than the wind tunnel environment. Um, wind tunnels often test ideal situations. Low turbulence flow, often not taking into account uh, a lot of crosswind. Um, and yeah, wind tunnels do have walls and a ceiling. And even when you keep uh, your blockage ratios very low, still you will have those effects. Uh, every wind tunnel is also different. Every wind tunnel has different approach flow turbulence intensity. That has an effect, for example, on uh, yeah, how suits uh, will, uh, will perform in the wind tunnel. So it's not surprising that when you go from one wind tunnel to another, that you will get different results for the same rider in the same position with, for example, the same suit. Uh, what is important, I think, is that yeah, every wind tunnel should be aware of yeah, the limitations and the specifications. And I think that's, that's the start of the story. But in the end, yeah, it's, it's in real life that it matters. There's so many aspects and it's such an, an interaction of, of, of material, of position on the bike, of the helmet, the position of the head, the position of um, the hands, the arms. There's so many variations that, that you can come up with. Uh, and this also makes it very difficult to, to come to very clear conclusions. Uh, and it makes it also very important to, to register very clearly for every athlete what the specific position is of all the body parts. Uh, to, to get a certain advantage. If we find out that we're already on the fastest thing, then you know that's a good uh, a good mental boost to know that we're you know as good as it, as we can be. And if we can actually find a gain, then it's a mental boost just to know that uh, you know we're getting we're getting quicker. Yeah, we start from the position that actually the cyclist is most comfortable with. And that, of course, he, can, he or she can deliver uh, yeah, the, the, the maximum power that, uh, that is required. And then often we base it on changes uh, that are feasible for the cyclist. We can, of course, squeeze the cyclist in a very aerodynamic position and gain maybe 10% or more. But the cyclist would never be able to, to keep that position in a race. If you would sum up the effect of um, uh, and the, the good or bad position on the bicycle uh, and a less good bicycle itself and the clothing uh, and the wheels and so on, so everything, the whole package. Um, yeah, I think you're talking about large percentages, 15, 20, 25 percent sometimes we've, we've seen. Of course, professional riders that already are at a rather optimal state, their percentages are lower. But even yeah, with, with 2 percent, uh, you can make quite a change in, uh, in an actual race. It's not out of the ordinary for, for Grand Tours to be decided by seconds and uh, any seconds that you can save just from having better equipment is a, a pretty easy game.